everybody. Welcome to another Ride Along with Goggles. And uh, this is first look at 151 official release. And I figured, oh, what the heck, let's hop in this Black Mac Anthem. And the truck isn't anything we haven't seen before, but this whole blacked out thing is new. So the only thing I changed, I put some Jasper's uh, Mac wheels on and painted them black. And get Jasper's tires, of course. So we are in Texarkana at uh, Chuck and you know what I should do? I wonder if I hmm. that engine is yeah okay. Well, anyway, I put the Mac engine in it. Anyway, we're at, uh, Chuck and Jake's here. Jacks, Jacks. We're gonna pick up this dynamic uh, load of chips and take it on over to. Um, Lawton, Oklahoma. So I thought I would try this uh, Mac and the, and the Mac engine. This is 505 horsepower. So the load's going to be 40,000 pounds. So we might be working a little, a little hard. We'll see. But uh, yeah, the uh, here we are, 151. Now, if any of you are having issues like you know mod problems and yeah if you if you don't play with mods obviously it's not going to be an issue with everything the game's just you know just have moved on and oops i put it in first gear or, oh no this thing has no torque off the get-go that is a bummer it's so unrealistic <laughs> I guess somebody over there at the uh, SCS needs to get the memo on that. Adjust their trucks. So we got uh, new shadow effects. So we're going to be watching for that uh, as we drive and the light comes up uh, in the interior. So that could be interesting. We've got the flow below um, fairings on the side of the truck. We'll see that when the light comes up. And uh, let's see. I do have a standard transmission in here. Oops, there I go again. <clears throat> I put 342 gears in it just based on the fact that I'm worried it's not going to have very much power. Should be able to drive out right there. Well, that's finishing up we could look at the route to uh what we're taking oh it's not going to show us the route but anyway we're going to go out this way up here and over lawton it'll be uh pretty straightforward yeah nothing too uh out of the ordinary there There we go. We all <laughs> cover me. I'm going in. Let's see if we can get this thing rolling. the sound of this engine or lack of sound it's very quiet revving it till you hear something <laughs> but uh, I would imagine no I don't know anything about this engine maybe somebody in here who uh, knows more about Max could fill me in on what's the scoop but this I have to uh, you know what we could do we get to a place where we got to stop we could have a quick look and um, I can show you what the engine is Oh, here, here comes some light coming in from the side. Let's see how the shadows on the 
the interior change of time. Is it? By the way, okay, yeah, that kind of looked better than the old flash in the pan we would get. Oh, they, they come in and out really nicely, too. Yeah, it looks good. Cool. Now we got to see what happens when the uh, sun comes up. Try getting this thing up to speed here, see if we can. I'm going to try 1700 as a max RPM. Yet be, uh, take some getting used to before you're driving this thing by year. up a little high there. <laughs> I gotta watch the tack because I don't know when to uh, yeah I'm not a big fan of that tachometer on the dash there. Oh we should do too. Oh darn is this straight enough here? We gotta get to uh, when we get to a straight section I'm gonna jump into the snowy moon settings and brighten that up maybe not sure where it is but it's it's still early in the day it's 6 20 in the morning Oop. watching the gauges i don't know if that's it's, this is we could have a look here anyway no it's brighten it up that much sun comes up we may have to drop that down Yeah, once you got into the rhythm of this thing, this would be a good combo for a good, you know, good engine, quiet truck for uh, listening to tunes as you cruise. Well, you just hit 60 miles an hour. get some looks at this thing on a drive-by too when we uh, get up on the four lane so there's obviously the user interface has changed that's a big deal that uh, I think we had a look way early on in 151 at those loblolly pines in northwest uh, Texas back where we we're coming out of where I think the pine trees that they had people who are native to the state were going, well, wait a minute. That's uh, not what they look like. And uh, so SCS, to their credit, went in and figured out what the Loblolly Pines looked like and swapped them out. And I think that's what the Texas vegetation change was. I don't think they changed much else that I've heard about. I haven't heard anything that says it's more than that. Um... Yeah, so the user interface, there's that, there's the shadows, there's the arrow on a bunch of the trucks, uh, the dynamic uh, loading of the chip vans, the grain load and unload all over the place. I imagine the, uh, if you've seen videos that show clips of them uh, dynamically loading logs, that's going to probably come out with Arkansas and or uh, shortly thereafter as they get it perfected. What a, what a, what a roof cam. This is a rushing wind. The um, tire and wind noise. It's that. Oh, not there here. Well, it's quiet, eh?
caught with our pants down there. I should I slowed down too uh, too much. Now we got this hill. I think we're just gonna keep it down here. I don't know. Can it's got the big uh, reverse neutral drive thingy plus M? I'm not sure what that was. No idea what that all means. I've never even been in an automatic uh, semi, let alone driven one or anything. I have no idea what goes on. So I don't know. Like in real life, could you get this thing with a? 18 speed? Probably not these days. But this truck, like, I mean, where the car, you know, when I was leasing myself to Chariot Express, the uh, guy there had a Mac Anthem. I mean, and this is quite a while ago, of course, and it was an 18 speed. I don't think automatics were. They were. I don't know, the automatics weren't big. I think they they had the um, auto shift thing where the it's an 18 speed within this computer controlled shift. And gotta admit, I was uh, a few times I'd pulled up at a light next to one of those and you could see the guy wasn't shifting. Like he was not doing anything and you could hear it like if you had your windows down you could listen they, they they sounded really good like really nice shifts like it, they um yeah they were just like perfect shifts makes the dude sound like a hero in there <laughs> and and a rational hero you know you're not thrashing it which is kind of cool that's one thing that used to really bug me like, I know in the game, I get a little excited now and then, and I take off from a light as quick as I can go. But in real life, I used to... Oh, jeez, I'm not paying attention to the attack. I'm slowing down. Um, yeah, if, if, you know, guys get real rammy and they take off from a light, they got a lot of weight on, and they just put too much power through the truck low down in those little gears, and, like, the left front corner's almost coming off the ground. And if they're not doing it very well, like, I mean, there's a way to drive a truck reasonably hard. It's not gonna kill it. But you gotta, you still gotta come off of the throttle, you gotta come down and, I think a lot of them are maybe double clutching or something, but they would get away up there and then bang, it would come down as they drop the power to get in the next gear instead of just easing the truck down, get that front corner down a little easier than just, yeah, it was pretty brutal. I guess the best way to describe it. I wonder if we can sneak up the right here. Let's have a little look back there. Yeah, let's do it. We're turning right up here anyway. Darn. That light took a long time to change. I wonder if that's something they changed in the game. We're going to have to pay attention to that. Yeah, we're not getting the... Uh, like the, the lighting or shadow changes in here. The sun is... Should be coming in that window. Maybe we'll see something here and we get around. Oh yeah, get around the corner here. Some sun in the window. Oh, wound it up way too much, boy. I'm gonna start watching attack again. Take a little while to get used to this thing. Oh, yeah, when we were in traffic there, we should have looked to see what this engine was in the menu.
Oh, there's Federales. No need to worry about me. <laughs> I'll get a ticket for going too slow. Oh, way station. Coming up. Uh, what have we got on? I have no idea what the truck weighs. 41,000. Let's go with 76,000 pounds. That's not right. Hmm. Yeah, let's, we'll go with that. Really? How big is this truck? It's, yeah, let's go 76. It's not like it's all stretched out. And it will be made of light materials. Actually, let's look at it a bit now the sun's up here. So the black edition, like it's not a new truck or anything, it's just a, a trim pack, as far as I can tell. Dash looks familiar to trucks that we're driving when we're doing the, um, going from scratch and buying a used truck, that, that series. The videos drove a few of these, th I'm pretty sure. 78, 399. Well, we weren't far off, so this truck could weigh 22,000 pounds, maybe. I only gave it 20, thinking it would be all, you know, full of stuff to keep the, the weight down. Oh my god, I'm revving it too high. Yeah, not a big fan of that tachometer, but I guess a guy could uh, get used to it. You see, it's on. Uh, wow, it goes. It's weird. That is weird. Twelve? No, it's all. Oh no, it's all twos. Okay, all the way through. Two hundred RPM increments. Well, let's see what we get on a split here when we get up to where we can split a gear. Once again, I, I've got a 1440 first gear, so that, that it is, and uh, 072, I think, final drive, so, here, let's try this. Yeah, that was 300 RPM on that split. Do it again. 18, yeah, 300 RPM. Hmm, that seems a little weird. I might have to, uh, Try this truck at a different point with a different transmission. Uh, yeah, we'll try and get some drive-bys here. Oh, we've got 88 miles to go. We're going to have to get a photo, too. Changes like you I mean the big takeaways for 151 is that dynamic loading all over the map for the grain trailers, and that's the start of something. You know, it's just going to get bigger as more and more things get dynamic loaded. And I think behind the scenes, they've probably got some pretty cool stuff already on the test bench. Like, and imagine you know, dropping containers onto container chassis quite easily, and potentially even. Um, uh, like, oh god damn, we're over revving it again. Uh, craneable loads onto flat decks, as opposed to things would be loaded by forklift. So that kind of thing. Who knows, maybe someday you'll be parking under a gantry crane in a steel yard. Like it, um, oh, what's the uh, steel company called? A Steel. Put pulling in there and parking under that gantry way and getting a, uh, a load dropped onto the flat deck. That would be pretty cool. Alright, well we're going to 
grab a photo here, so I'll be back. Uh-oh, who's losing their lane? Oh, he's giving us space. I like it when AI does the right thing. <laughs> yeah, somebody write that down. I can't dry this in my ear just yet. I end up either uh, winding the heck out of it or I'm uh, letting it lug down to nothing. I guess what we'll do, uh, we've only got 60 miles to go. We'll get the load off, then we'll have a quick look in the menu at what this engine is. Just so you know. It drives nice though. Oh, yeah, we're going to do some drive-by stuff. Here's the straightaway. That's oh, just silent. Is that a Tesla or a Mac? through that to cross that line and stopped. Yeah, I think um, if I'm not mistaken, a lot of the newer engines are really designed to run at the lower operating range for efficiency, and uh, what this engine isn't anything about it, I just don't know. So I would have to look it up. And maybe I'm driving it all wrong. Maybe I'm running it up too high. Um, I will have to we'll, we'll get in the shop to have a look. What we'll do is uh, take a quick peek at the. Uh, the uh, engine specs as per uh, where where's uh, peak torque etc oh is that guy turning oh, he's coming on oh. ah he turned to see what, what was that gonna be interesting to see where uh, peak torque is yeah it's, uh, it's making headway we're not going slower uh, in acceleration than we were winding it up to 17 1800 <laughs> Some cases, 2,000 or more. I had looked down and saw myself floating the valve springs. Nah, you wouldn't do that in a diesel. They have too much valve spring pressure.
this little LT day cab has taken us. What's he got on there? Oh, a tank or two. Jeez. Well, ah, he's got to be empty. <laughs> That's my story. I'm sticking with it. All right, six miles to go. Start paying attention here to where we have to be on the road. So anyway, yeah. So uh, I guess what I one thing I could recommend is if you guys are you know if you're in trouble and uh, you know if you, like I say if you don't have any mods, you just go into 151. And I always make the assumption people are using mods because I'm so into them, and it's not necessarily always the case. So, uh, you gotta use that as a backdrop to the things I say. <laughs> as, uh, it's just an important, an important enhancement to the game for me. Especially in trucks. I really like the mod trucks. But then there's other folks who, you know, they're good with the standard trucks, but like the maps and... Oh, yeah, big boring right there. Maps, you're going to have problems if you've got, you know, anything. I, I don't know. ATS expansion works. There are... Up. Oh, shoot. We stalled it. There are... Uh, we stalled it again. God, are we pointing uphill or what? That's crazy. Put it in low, low. Seems a little weak. Kind of slope are we on there? Wow, virtually nothing. We'll uh, get up here to this light. We'll go down to the wheel view. And, uh, oops. All right, so here. See if this thing has enough. Oh, yeah, it barely lifts the front corner. Okay, so we're going that paper. Well, page and price paper. Wouldn't it be a shocker if we pull in here and we get dynamic unloading of these chips? Wow. That would... That's kind of the reason I came here, too, is i just curious. What's going to happen? Keep right. Is it ever going to happen? Yeah, we can do without that. Well, I mean, you want to... Uh, that take if it's useful. But, sound-wise? Keep right. After 15 yards, turn right. But the truck drives nicely enough. Oh, it's storage right. up there. Oh, it's coming to a stop here. Oh, darn, again. You can't just let out the clutch and go, you got it. Oh boy. <laughs> yep, that is weird. I cannot be doing what I just did in real life, where you give it some throttle and let out the clutch. That's just wrong. Give yourself a visit to the chiropractor out of that. Stop sign just rolled right through. Almost. Uh oh. After 100 yards, turn left. Turn left. Yeah, I'd be just 
gobsmacked we came in here and got some kind of dynamic unload. Oh, I should have snuck up here quiet like. Yeah, that dynamic unloading, if it was going to happen, would be right there, but not a whole not a lot of hope. Yeah, we've got it going. Kind of a menacing looking truck, all in black. Okay, so if we went, let's play it safe. No, that's just straight in. Uh, I think that is right over here at the corner of the building. We'll back it up. Have a look at these mirrors. Oh boy, that's a good mirror. What are the mirrors like? Well, they're pretty big. And that's, a, that's another improvement. No, I forgot to mention that. The mirrors are theoretically, uh, well, they are better. They actually look pretty good. We should be able to do this. Just a question, can we get all turned around in here? Let's lift the back trailer on the uh, axle on the trailer. Get ourselves a little bit better maneuverability back there. Almost, uh, I just configured a Big Sky W900. And then I realized, oh geez, I should be hopping in the Mac. That's what I was going to drive for the video. Because I wanted to check out the, uh, you know, the flow below thing and put all that on it and deck it all out. And uh, I, uh, it, and then I went, oh geez, no, you got you to gotta try this Mac out. see that truck there. I, oh, I think I can see enough of it to miss it. Probably get pretty close to it too here because objects in the mirror are closer than they appear. Left right here. There it goes. Okay, swinging in a bit. That thing's always just right there in the way. It's kind of annoying. Oh, it could be a little too close to the building. Well, let's see. Yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah, we we're crooked. Real crooked. There we go. Okay, well, let's see how we did. Oh, well, that's not too bad. <laughs> I'll take it, because this, uh, this has always been a tough parking spot with that uh, forklift there. They put there for giggles, just to keep you honest. So, no dynamic unloading of chips yet. Oh, darn it. They got that infrastructure right there to use. But that was an interesting first drive. I enjoyed it. And, um, you know, once again, I've been in 151 for quite a while in the beta. So, um, oh, so, yeah, wait, let's quit babbling and go look at the, uh, oh, excuse me, we'll go services, timber buying a truck. We'll go to Mac. I'll click on a Mac dealer, buy online, and. Just grab this black guy here and engine. That's what I got. A Mac MP850 or 505C, 1860 foot pounds at, oh, look at that, 1150 RPM. Yeah, so it's definitely tuned to run at a lower RPM. Isn't that interesting? And they just say specifically 1150, see, they don't give it a range. Uh, this this one also just you know it's twelve hundred. Yeah, see these newer engines, thousand to fifteen hundred. At twelve hundred, this is at eleven. Oh, eleven fifty. This one's at a thousand with a four fifteen. Uh, yeah, interesting. Yeah, so we're winding it winding it up way too high. No need. 
Interesting. Okay. It would also be, speaking of interesting, <laughs> overused word in the last sentence or two, uh, to put an automatic in here. Like, I'm not big on the automatics because I just, well, I don't know. I've never driven one and kind of like mixing my own gears. But it would be interesting to see what the thing does by default, where it shifts. Because you would expect it would be uh, set up in some sort of realistic manner. But anyway, there you have, folks. There's a quick first look at uh, at uh, 151 um, driving perspective and having a, you know, lighting. You saw the mirror change. That was good, actually. Really, really appreciate those mirrors. So, yeah, good times. Uh, as always, appreciate you following along. We'll catch you in the next one, and bye for now.